the name Samoa Okoroji is etched in the annals of Nigerian football history. A talented midfielder, Okoroji was born on May 19, 1964, in Umudioka, Nigeria. He rose to prominence during the 1980s, playing for the Nigerian national team, known as the Super Eagles. Tragically, on August 12, 1989, during a World Cup qualifying match against Angola at the National Stadium in Lagos, Okoroji collapsed and died on the field. Autopsy reports later revealed that he suffered from hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a heart condition that went undetected. The loss of Okoroji sent shockwaves through Nigeria and the footballing world. He was not just a talented player but also a symbol of dedication and passion for the game. His memory lives on in the hearts of Nigerians, and each year, fans and football enthusiasts pay tribute to this fallen hero. Endurance Idaho Another tragic loss in Nigerian football came with the passing of Endurance Idaho. Born on October 22, 1984, in Benin City, Idaho was a promising striker who played for various clubs in Nigeria and abroad. On March 6, 2010, while playing for Sudanese club Almaric against Alamo in a league match, Idaho tragically collapsed on the field. Despite efforts to resuscitate him, he was pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. Reports later indicated that Idaho had an enlarged heart, which led to his sudden collapse. The news of Idaho's death shook the football community, both in Nigeria and abroad. His teammates, coaches, and fans mourned the loss of a young talent with immense potential. Idaho's memory serves as a reminder of the fragility of life and the risks associated with the beautiful game. Amir Angui Amir Angui, a young Nigerian footballer with dreams of making it big, met a tragic end on the field. Born on December 25, 1995, in Lagos, Angui was a talented midfielder who played for Gateway United FC in the Nigerian National League. On April 14, 2015, during a match against Patterns FC, tragedy struck as Angui collapsed on the field. Despite immediate medical attention, he was pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. The cause of death was later attributed to cardiac arrest. Angui's death sent shockwaves through the Nigerian football community, with many mourning the loss of a rising star. His teammates and coaches remembered him as a dedicated and hardworking player, whose passion for the game was unmatched. The tragic incident served as a wake-up call for improved medical facilities and protocols in Nigerian football. David Faremola Onaya David Faremola Onaya's death on the field highlighted the importance of player safety and medical preparedness. Born on March 2, 1983, in Lagos, Onaya was a defender who played for Malaysian club T Team FC. On June 13, 2015, during a friendly match against Kolantan FC in Malaysia, Onaya collapsed just minutes into the game. Despite the availability of medical personnel, including an ambulance on the field, Onaya did not receive immediate treatment. He was later rushed to the hospital but was pronounced dead upon arrival. The tragic circumstances surrounding Onaya's death raised questions about the readiness of football associations and clubs to handle such emergencies. Calls for improved medical facilities and better emergency response protocols echoed throughout the football community. Onaya's legacy serves as a reminder of the need for stringent safety measures in football. Yudoji Chinese Martins Yudoji Chinese Martins' untimely death on the field shocked the Nigerian football fraternity and fans alike. Born on March 22, 1990, in Lagos, Martens was a talented defender who played for Nigerian professional football league club, Nezorowa United. On March 8, 2020, during a league match against Kotsina United, Martens tragically collapsed on the field after a collision with an opponent. Despite immediate medical attention, he was pronounced dead upon arrival at the hospital. Reports later indicated that Martens suffered from severe internal bleeding due to the impact of the collision. Martin's death sent shockwaves through the football community, with many calling for better medical facilities and improved safety measures for players. 
his teammates, coaches, and fans mourned the loss of a dedicated and hardworking player whose passion for the game was evident in every match he played. Conclusion The stories of these Nigerian footballers serve as poignant reminders of the risks associated with the game they loved. Their untimely deaths on the field shocked the footballing world and left lasting scars on their families, teammates, and fans. As we remember Samoa Okoroji, Endurance Idaho, Amir Angui, David Farumola Onaya, and Yudoji Chani Martens, let us also reflect on the need for improved player safety measures, better medical facilities, and enhanced awareness of cardiac health in athletes. These fallen heroes may have left this world too soon, but their legacies live on in the hearts of those who loved and admired them. Let us honor their memory by ensuring that every footballer steps onto the pitch with the knowledge that their safety and well-being are paramount. As we continue to celebrate the beautiful game, let us never forget those who gave their all for the love of football.